Hi everyone, I'm Jake from Manga High. This is Manga High's Game of the Month, and today we're focusing on an angles game called A Tangled Web. This game covers basic angle rules, angles in side triangles, angles in quadrilaterals, all the way up to angles in circles. So before we get started and show this game off, I just want to show you how to assign this game. We have multiple levels of this game. Let's jump across to the teacher interface and take a look at how we assign a specific level. So first we're going to click on Assign, Now in our curriculum area, using the search bar at the top to have a look at all the levels we have within any of our games, I would suggest typing in the name of the game. Tangled Web, hit the magnifying glass. That's going to bring up all the levels that we have within this game. So you can see here, we have angles in quadrilaterals, in triangles, polygons, circles, parallel lines, and basic angle rules. Have a look at the description below the name to see what year level that activity is intended for. So really important to understand, you can assign a specific level of this game straight to your students. So if you're doing angles in triangles, you can just skip straight to that level of the game and get students to focus on that. That's what we're doing today. Let's jump back to the student interface and have a look at how to play a tangled web. First of all, I will point out that there is a help section here. If you ask students to open up the help, help section, they can have a look at the basic controls, advanced controls, or even have a look at the maths behind these concepts. So if we, and there's three pages. So if I hit the arrow here, we can see angles in a triangle. Let's click on this here. We're gonna get some basic information there that's gonna help us find success in this upcoming game level. So let's have a crack at this level here that I have assigned. It is the angles in triangles level. So the student would hit play and we get faced with the next screen here, which is describing what this story is all about. Pretty much we are Itzy, a mechanical little spider in a grandfather clock. Let's go through. Here we go. So when you assign this level, angles in a triangle, you can see it's made up of 24 levels within that. So a great way to use this game is to assign this activity, angles in triangles, set a time limit and challenge students to reach the final level, level 24. You can get creative with this, have a bit of fun in the classroom, get a bit of competition going between your students. So assign the level, designate some time, ask students to work up to the highest level possible and reward those that can. So let's click on the first level here, the only level we can play and we'll kickstart this activity. We have five minutes for this, let's get started. So. First of all, we control the cog. So using my keyboard, I push left or right, which moves the cog, and then Itsy, our mechanical spider, just slides from gravity. If you're using touchscreen, you can use these buttons on the right-hand side to move the cogs up or down. Now, the overall goal of this level is, first of all, to collect all the blue flies. You can see there's two blue flies on this level. I'm going to move the cog and get Itsy to slide down to collect that first blue fly. Fantastic. Now you'll notice that to reach our second objective, we need to release ourselves from the inside of this triangle. So when we want to remove a colored line, we need to answer the corresponding colored angle fact here. So with this level, we're dealing with angles, interior angles of triangles. So let's work backwards here. We have 75 degrees interior angle here we have an external angle of 140 here which means that this interior angle where itsy is is 40 degrees we know that because angles on a straight line sum to 180 okay so 75 degrees 40 degrees is 115 and then we need to know the remain remaining angle to get to 180 which is 65 I'm going to click on that angle fact enter 65 and click plus. Now we're going to scoot outside of the triangle as quickly as we can. You'll notice that we didn't do that quick enough. So because we've already answered this angle fact, it remains there and we can just click to remove and scoot through again. Now you'll notice at the top left there is a health bar. We do not want to touch the outside of this, otherwise we'll lose too much health and be sent back to the start of this level. So now we can collect the second fly and you'll see that the tunnel opens and we are free to now leave this level. All right, let's scoot on through. That's our first question. This is gonna take us to our second level. Next level. And start. So here we have another question. 
and we can see that we're dealing with an equilater equilateral triangle so we know instantly that the interior angles are 60 degrees let's have a crack at this question here you will also notice that there is a gold fly gold flies are a bonus fly you do not need to collect them but it's just something extra that some students may aim to achieve so I'm going to try and get it as well all right now to collect the final two flies we need to get inside this triangle so we know it's an equal equilateral triangle every interior angle is 60 degrees which means that this one here is 120 let's answer that one scoot on in try and make it in time there we go we've collected all the flies the tunnel now opens and, it, and it's time to leave so a big part of this game is positioning Itsy to fall exactly where you want the spider to fall. So we're going to position the spider just above the tunnel, being very careful that we're not sliding away. Then we click on our remaining answer. Yellow angle will remove the yellow line. And let's get out of here. That's two levels of our game of the month, which is Tangled Web. Like I said, this game covers all things to do with angles, from basic angle rules all the way up to angles within circles. So, if you went, next time you're working on angles in the classroom, please think of this game, Tangled Web. It's a really great game that I know your students are going to love. You'll probably have to tell them to stop playing it if they find it when you're not doing your angles unit. That's it, That's it for the game of the month. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.